welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, just finished, we're going to be making a bean and vegetable stew. It's vegan. We've got some chickpeas in there, butter beans or lima beans, and lots of different veg, and some beautiful fresh dill. Really delicious, doesn't take long. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. We'll start at the back here. I've got one tin or one can of plum tomatoes. Here I've got some cooked beans. Now you can be using anything you want. Today I'm using chickpeas and I'm using butter beans. Here I've also got some fresh tomatoes. I like the combination of the two cooked in this. Onions sliced. I'm using red. You could be using something else. Here I've got some bell peppers, different colours. Some carrots down here. Some chunky cut garlic. And here I've got some fresh dill. That's going to give it a lovely, lovely flavour. That's about it. Might add a couple of other bits. Let's get going. Okay, so you're going to need some kind of pan or pot that has a lid. Here I've got some oil. I've got some olive oil in here. You could use a different oil if you wanted. I'm just using this today. We're going to pop in our garlic, our onions, I'm going to add a little bit of bay leaf as well, some salt, some black pepper, And then simply what we need to do is start adding our hardest vegetables first. In my case, it's carrots. You could be putting in now maybe some celery would work really nicely in this. Additionally, you could be putting in some eggplant, zucchini, or mushrooms. They'll all work in this. Okay, let's just throw this around in the pan for about three to four minutes on quite a lively heat. Okay, at this stage we're now going to add in our beans, our cooked beans. Like I said, I'm using butter beans, or lima beans, some of you call them, and chickpeas. And this time, still on this high heat, just like two minutes, let's throw them around, get some of that garlic and onion flavours onto them. If you wanted, you could be adding maybe some potatoes to this as well, it would work really nicely. Okay, now I'm going to go in with those fresh tomatoes cut and that one can or one tin of plum tomatoes. And I'm just going to break them with my spoon nice and chunky. I'm going to give this a nice little mix. Then we're going to get a lid on this and we're going to cook it and turn the heat down just a little bit and then we're going to cook it for about five to six minutes. Those fresh tomatoes will cook down a little bit and uh, as will our tin ones as well. We might add a little bit of water or stock. Let's see when we come back. Okay, let's jump inside. I've just turned this down to a simmer just while we're doing this. I mean that load of steam out, there's plenty of it. Okay, we've got lots of juice out of this. Let's just stir that in a bit. Those fresh tomatoes are certainly starting to break down beautifully. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. And that water I mixed with what the tomatoes are in. Didn't want to waste that. You can add as much or as little water as you want or stock, that's up to you. Okay, now, I'm gonna add in all of that amazing fresh dill, really distinctive flavor. It's amazing, that does, that's gonna give it a lovely, lovely aroma. 
as it hits that steam. Okay, last thing, I'm gonna put my peppers in now, my bell peppers. I just like them kind of quite crunchy, so I'm not gonna cook them for too long. Okay, we're going up with the heat. We're gonna stir these in now. I'm gonna cook this on a kind of just above a medium heat now for about four minutes. Then it's gonna be done. Check your hardest face toward, in my case, it's the carrots. If you wanted maybe a little, a few chili flakes or a bit of cayenne to give it a bit of spice if you wanted, or some smoked paprika maybe, in the mix would be lovely. Okay, lid back on. I'm gonna be back in about four minutes so that my peppers are still crunchy. Got a little bite to them. Okay, off goes the heat, off comes the lid, out comes the sting. Okay, got about four minutes. I've got a really kind of hearty, lovely stew there. Now, this looks a little bit dry, but believe me, it's got a lovely amount of moisture in it. You could be adding more if you wanted. I love it just like this. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?